it's Petunia Cow, and we are back over in Planet Zoo, and it's finally out, the full release, super awesome, so excited to get back into it, so let's get to it, obviously you guys saw the last episode yesterday, uh, but I haven't been able to do this for two weeks, so I am super looking forward to getting back into it, um, and I did do a little bit of a live stream um, on uh, well, I guess it would be yesterday when this comes out, but yeah, so, um, I did do a bit of a live stream, and so I will try to link that up in the top right, uh, and maybe put it down in the comments, in the description as well, so, um, let's get to it, I'm not gonna do the first one, because we did that, uh, I think I did a live stream and the, um, video for it, so I will link one of those, uh, up in the top right and put the links down in the bottom if I remember <laughs> if I don't let me know in the comments and I'll do that <laughs> so uh, let's get to it this is kind of a tutorial type uh, still so just kind of getting us familiar with the rest of the controls and uh, just the stuff you can do in the zoo <clears throat> so oh my gosh this looks so awesome this is just ah, so cool welcome to it. Madagascar it's quite the change of scenery from dreary old England, huh? Yeah, it is, Bernie. <laughs> Apart from the weather, I suppose. They don't <laughs> call these places rainforest for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the zoo you'll be working in is an ape sanctuary where we're doing vitally important conservation work. Not just for apes, so cool. but for all kinds of species. But apes, well, apes are some of the closest relatives to humans there are. And mm. yet... The way the world treats them is like, well, very much like some of us treat our actual relatives. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that's why I'm determined that our operation here does some good. God, if we can so all cool. leave some part of the world in a better state than we found it, we'll have lived lives worth living. Yeah. And speaking of states, I have a horrible feeling I left the house in a right one. <laughs> when I get back, I expect my life won't be worth living at all. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> what do you think of Madagascar then? Bit warm for my tastes, to be honest. Anyway, this is Bernie's primate sanctuary. It's not just primates, though. We've got all sorts of animals. So why don't we go and have a look at some of them, eh? Sure, let's, let's go. Let's start by taking a look at the red ruffed lemurs. Oh, gosh. They're the red... ones that look like they should be in a Shakespeare play. <laughs> Come on, let's head over to them. Those are so cool. I've been watching so much, like... So many zoo shows like on the animal planet and um i've just gotten like in love with all these animals and like you're gonna you're gonna have that one right wait what what was all that noise hold on i, I don't know what all that noise was for but okay let's go to this guy over here i thought i clicked on the exhibit and i would like get taken right there but nope so this is pretty cool. It has like a middle part that's all combined with the three exhibits. That's pretty neat. I like that. Okay. Let's get into it. Red rust okay. lemurs are found in the rainforests of Masoala. That's in northeast Madagascar. They can actually live anywhere so from 15 cool. up to 25 years. Oh, your head's in the... Day? Get to your... Okay, when you're ready, let's go find our Borny and orangutans. Get your head out of the... <laughs> oh, those look so cool, though. Look at that guy. Ah. Okay. This, I mean, this game is going to be full of me just looking at animals instead of doing what I need to do. But it's fine. It works. Okay. Let's, uh, I'm just going to do it this way. I'm just going to go to the zoo menu. Maybe. And we'll just go to animals and to the orangutans, right? I think so. Just click on those guys. Uh, is that not what she said? Uh, maybe she said bon bonobos. What'd she say? I I'm confused. I'm confused. All right. Hopefully that's loud enough for you guys to hear. I'm not sure. I guess we'll turn it to 95. See what happens. Well, the music is definitely louder. Okay. 
Let me check on this. Uh, no, that's not what I need. I need this one. There we go. Locate the highlighted area. So, yeah, it's the orangutans. Uh, maybe we have to do it by that. I'm not sure. Wait, how do we go down to 75,000? Okay, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. All right. Let's go there and go there. Oh, maybe we have to enter the camera first. Oh, my gosh. It's so cute. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have to take a picture of that one. I don't think... Did that get a picture? <laughs> uh, huh. I don't know. It's not taking a picture. Okay. Sorry. Again, the whole the whole game is just going to be me, you know, doing this. Uh, why can I go... Okay, maybe I have to click it like this. I don't know what's going on. Why isn't she coming back? <laughs> Why is she talking to me? Talk to me, Nancy. Let's do this. Red rust lemurs are found in the rainforests of Masuala. That's in northeast Madagascar. They can actually live anywhere from 15 up to 25 years. Wow. Fancy that, eh? Okay, when you're ready, let's go find our Borny and orangutans. I'm here. What else do you want me to do? I'm, I'm, uh, do we have the to find, oh, there we go. Is such a marvelous creature. <laughs> they're always a big favorite at any zoo they feature in. And they're so also cool. the biggest tree dwelling animal on the planet. <laughs> Assuming you don't count any lions that got stuck up one. Mm -hmm. Oh, why don't you take a better look at them? Open up their information panel and go into the animal camera. Yeah, I already did that. Aren't they just incredible? They are. They're super when cool. When you're ready, let's go and have a look see oh, at gosh. some of our beautiful bonobos. <laughs> They're quite the characters. Okay, bonobos. We we were there. Let's, let's look at the bonobos. Alright. So yeah, this is going to be mainly like just trying to see the uh, new animals and that kind of thing. Because, oh my gosh. The amount of animals that we got to see in the, um, oops, in the beta is like nothing compared to what they have. Oh my goodness, it's so cool. I can't wait oh to play dear. this. It looks like we've arrived just in time. Oh. One of the habitat's barriers has collapsed. Uh oh. oh wouldn't you know it, one of the bonobos has made a run for it. We'll need to catch them. Oh but no. Before we do, we should box up the other bonobos to stop them escaping too. Yes, we should do Select that. Select the habitat boundary to bring up the habitat information panel. Okay. Oh, I feel like, like, I really have to do the, wait, I moved the game. Okay, there we go. Why can't I select? There we go. Okay. That's not what I want. I want the thing. Okay, get out of there. Nope. Get out. Good. Now there we go. The animals tab. All right. Animals. And click on box all and animals to box. box up the remaining bonobos. That's pretty cool. I like now, that. We'll need a vet to recapture that escaped bonobo, but it seems our last one left to do some research in the wild. Oh, not okay. an ideal situation. So, we'll need to hire a replacement, Sharpish. Go ahead and Go get into Sharpish. The section and then into the staff management uh, area. The veterinarian. Great. Now let's deal with our SKP okay. before they can cause too much havoc. Use the animal alerts to jump to the escaped bonobo. Oh, no, that's not wrong. Okay. Bonobo. And then click on the call vet wow. button to call the vet over to capture it. <laughs> so looks like he got far away. Jeez. Okay, that's okay. a relief. <laughs> so while the vet well, I mean, deals not with the bonobo yet. friend, let's go fix up their habitat so they can't escape again. <laughs> Head back over there. Uh, okay, people, you'll be fine. I promise. Uh, I'll be fine if I can not click out of the window again. Um, where was where was that habitat? 
They'll be fine. They'll be fine. Oh, hippos. Uh, oh, I think this was it. Yep, it was. Okay. So, now we gotta click on the habitat. And, uh, what'd she say? Edit barrier? Okay. Where? As oh, there it is. See, the barrier's collapsed. Someone's okay. taking an eye off the ball, obviously. Let's get this obviously. one replaced. Select the barrier and then we'll edit it. Delete the broken okay. section of barrier and replace it with a brand the... spanking new one. That one. Uh, click on that. There we go. Brand spanking new. Now that we've done right. that, we need to make sure to add climb-proof barriers to the top. That All right. way the bonobos won't be able to climb up. Left. Just Wait. make sure you've got the correct piece oh, of barrier selected, selected when you do that. All right. Uh, I think it's okay. So there go. go to the options section and Yay. select which side the climb-proof barrier needs to go on. Yeah, yeah. And don't get it wrong. <laughs> We're more worried about bonobos climbing out than guests climbing in. <laughs> Are you sure? Nicely I mean, done. And you know, I think it's happen. high time we unbox those bonobos, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I would think the so. Mites will get well, there's a lot of bonobos. Too long. Select the habitat okay. barrier to bring up the habitat oh. information panel again. There we go. Let's and do... then open the animals tab. Animals and, and unbox. And finally, click on unbox all there we animals go. to let them out. I expect awesome. some of them are fair bursting for the toilet. Okay. So, it turns out that as well as the old vet leaving, the zoo's mechanics did too. We'll need to hire a couple of new ones so we can help stop That's any more cool breakouts. You see, mechanics do all sorts of okay. helpful things around the zoo, but one of their most important jobs is taking care of the habitat barriers. Yeah, definitely Without important. If mechanics around to repair them, the barriers will crack, crumble, and fall down. Don't and want that. It will be overrun with escaped animals. No, Go that would not be good. Section, and then into the staff management area again. Yeah, got it done. Hire a mechanic and then click on a path to place them in the zoo. Got it, Nancy. And then click on the path again to hire a second mechanic. As you, can see, you don't have to go back into staff management if you're hiring lots of the same type of staff member. Well, not if you still have a selected, <laughs> obviously. Gosh, we oh, have been busy, haven't we? Good work there. Yay. I'm off for a cuppa. Oh, I think Bernie wants a word with you. Of course he does. Ooh, see, uh, scene unlocked. Oh, I hear you had a bit of an issue with an escaped bonobo. Mm -hmm. The main thing is that you dealt with it swiftly. And more yeah. importantly, without the animals stealing someone's clothes, putting them on, and then walking out of the front gate. <laughs> Does that really have it? Another key responsibility for our vets is animal research. Researching yes. animals allows vets to unlock new enrichment items, additional information for our education resources, enhanced okay. breeding programs, and improvements to food quality. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the animal's food, not the vet's. It'll take more than a research grant to improve the staff canteen. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, <laughs> research is a key part of running your zoo. Yes, it is. In order for a vet to undertake research, they require a research center. <laughs> and once again, that's something that this zoo is missing. Of so course. let's build one. I've marked out an area for you to put it. Mm, oh, I see. Okay. Uh, let's see. Now, you've there. probably noticed that there's already a building where I want you to build the research center. Yes, I see Don't that. worry. You see, the building that's currently there is actually a hollow shell. So we're able to place our new building inside of it. If you select the research center for placement and then hover over the shell, you'll see that it asks if you want to add oh. the research center to the existing building. Okay, okay hold click on. to add it to the building. Oh, but that won't place it in just yet, though. First, we'll need to rotate our research center so it automatically connects to the path when we place it. Oh. I have to click it and hold Z because it's being um, a little picky right now. Let's see. That connects? I'm not sure. Oh, I think it did. Okay, let's see if we can rotate that a little better. All right, there we go. Right, splendid there. work. <laughs> now Doesn't look great. Now we have a grand, but... spanking new research center, we can give our vets something to do in there. 
Awesome. Oh, by the way, it's worth noting that the vets will only do research when they're not required to do any other jobs. That said, you can change what jobs a vet does via their information panel. But let's not worry about that just now. So, let's okay. get our vet researching ringtail lemurs. Go into the zoo oh, wow. section the right and one. select vet <laughs> research. Uh... Actually, thinking about it, I'm not sure we've got any education boards or speakers by the lemur's habitat. Oh, well, that's not Let's good. Head over there and add some. We, so we can't have can that. All about the furry little delights. Yeah, we got We got to do that. All right. Let's see. Where can we put them over here? First off, let's pop down two education boards. Place them oh, on the habitat them. barriers okay. at a height that guests can see, or if you like, pop them down on a stand. Well, it looks like she already has some stands here. So we'll do that. So let's go to facilities and um, let's do. I always find it through all, but. Oh, uh, there it is. Habitat education boards. Um, okay, align to surface. We'll do that. Align to surface. Ah, that speaker's a little annoying, I'm just saying. Uh, I can't tell. Oh, I can't tell if this is the right way. I'm going to turn off the overlay. Click the bottom left. Oh, that it looks like something's coming through that. That's weird. Okay. Um, was okay. there... Now that they've been put into position, we have to tell them what animal to display information about. Select one of the education boards to bring up its information panel. Well, I only put one education board. Did, did you want me to put another one? I guess you just... I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and turn off the overlay. Uh, turn off the overlay. Come on. There we go. Alright, and let's see. Where did I go? Oh, I went down here. Oh, they don't. there's not a stand for it. Why not? We'll just put it right here. Okay, so now what we can do is click on it. And from the drop-down list, select ring-tailed lemur. Although I'm sure that last part was obvious. Go. When you link a an education obvious. board or a speaker to an animal, you need to make sure that said animal is close by. If it isn't, the guests will get confused and won't learn as much. Well, that's not good. Oops, wrong way. Uh, what was it? Q and E? Okay. E raises the camera, Q lowers the camera. Can't remember. Uh, okay, I was like, I can't click it. All right, so yeah, you gotta make sure okay. you get the now boards in. the education boards, let's pop down a pair of speakers. Speakers play audio to the guests so they can learn while they look at the animals. Instead of Seems having good. to go through the laborious process of reading. Yeah, who wants that? One thing to bear in mind is that it's important not to put the speakers too close together. If you do, the guests won't be able to understand what's being said. Well, that's not good. Kind of defeats the whole purpose of having educational speakers, huh? I don't know how that's... They, uh, how that's placed. Oh, that's good. Okay. And then we'll come over and put another one over here. I think she may... Oh, she did. There's one sitting right here. Okay. Well, let's just put one here then. We'll go ahead. Man, there's people everywhere. I can't see. Now we simply need to link the I don't know if that's the right lemurs, Just like you did with the education boards. Just because I... It's going to annoy me if I don't. I'm going to put one right here. Like that. Alright. So, nope. Not that stand. Wait, can it... Okay. Let's see. Ring to lemurs. I don't know what this guy's problem was. Is he stuck or something? Uh, give me the speaker. There we go. Alright. Ring to lemurs. And you can also change the volume of it. Which is cool. Where's she gone over? Where did I don't know. I don't know Planko speak. Sorry. Sorry about that. All right. Let's go ahead and click on this one. Make that ring tail lemurs. Awesome. Fantastic. Oh, it's worth remembering that education boards and speakers both need power to work. Well, yeah. They won't do much good without it. 
kind of need power. It looks as though our vet has completed their research on no, ring-tailed we'll lemurs. Oh, yeah. We'll need to collect the results. We can do that by clicking on the notification Oops. or by going back into the vet research area. Research. <laughs> that did the wrong thing. Go okay. On. Collect your research rewards. Just so you know, vets will continue to research an animal even after successfully completing a research level. <laughs> I okay. suppose when you're in the zone, you're in the zone. Yeah, that's, that's what they say, I think. Well, now that we've enriched the lives of our guests, let's enrich the lives of our ring-tailed lemurs. Some okay. animals, like lemurs, will have a climbing need. That means they have a requirement for a certain amount of climbing space. And you can fulfill that requirement by building okay. them a climbing frame. So let's, let's find out. Let's how much go ahead. Comes. I'm going to pause that. Um, this is actually the end of the episode. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this next time. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, definitely hit that thumbs up. If you're ex as excited uh, for this series as I am, definitely come back for the next one. And uh, let me know what you guys want to see. If you guys want me to like fast forward through stuff or do stuff in between, let me know. I definitely want to do the things that you are going to watch. And um, yeah, I don't know how long these like specific challenges or career modes are going to take. So they may be multiple episodes. They may be one. Um, and it depends on, you know, if I do speed up or in between things. So definitely let me know what you guys like to see down below. And um, if you want to check out this game or any of my uh, Patreon or social media links, they're all down below in the description. So check those out and come over and have some fun over there. And um, something I'm going to start for my Patreons uh, for Planet Zoo is if you become a Patreon, I will add you to the zoo um, as far as the workers or animals, whatever you choose. Um, the animals sometimes don't last too long. <laughs> <laughs> at least not in the beta. Um, so I don't know. If I'll do whatever. You know, let me know um, in Discord or on Patreon what you guys would like. And I will definitely do that for you. And yeah, until next time, I hope you have a super blessed day. Thanks so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>